Another reason why I'm a life coach is because people run into walls in their lives. And I had mentioned earlier that I had a particular client, a practice client, that had something that was holding her back from feeling extraordinary. And she kept mentioning this wall. She said, no matter what I do, I keep running into this wall. And this wall keeps me from moving forward. Anytime I do personal development, it keeps me from moving on. So I thought, and it wasn't in the script. I said, well, we gotta figure out what the wall is because we can't get past it if we don't know what the wall is. But more important, we have to know what's on the other side of the wall. So this was not this client's favorite session, but uh, we spend a, a long time talking about, okay, here's the you on this side of the wall. Let's think about the you on the other side of the wall. And, and who is that person on the other side of the wall? What? And so this person said, well, that's the extraordinary me, which I thought was really cool. And the extraordinary you, okay, can you describe the extraordinary you? And then this person began to describe pretty much the way they are like all of the things maybe not to the level of a 10 but at least a six or a seven on a scale of one to ten of being extraordinary and and this person this extraordinary person sounds so amazing and this person that i was working with was amazing and i thought so we got to figure out what the wall is because then i had um, this client also describe themselves as they are now which wasn't anything bad or good just kind of describe that the situation that she was in but then we talked about what was keeping her from seeing herself as that extraordinary person and we found out that it was comparison but not so much the comparison of others but the comparison of the person that she had created in her mind a fictional person um, accomplishing things that a person could accomplish but maybe not super realistic and um, actually not even really truly what this person really wanted they had just set this idea in their mind so every time the extraordinary person on the other side of the wall poked its head through just um, this is not real but just the idea that then this comparison would pop up of like, no, that's not extraordinary. What I see in my mind, that fictional thing, that fictional person, that is, that's extraordinary. And so there was that, that wall was that combat between comparison of what um, they had dreamed they wanted to be and really what they innately really have desired that they want to be. And so breaking through that wall um, requires some different tools. And one thing that um, we're working on with that client is to be able to look in the mirror and say to yourself, say, you are the extraordinary, and let's just say you were Mary, you are the, or extra you are the extraordinary Mary. And say that in the mirror. And as that happens, then that person will begin to believe it and their habits will change and then they will not feel that dissonance in their own mind and in their own body that frustration and that frustration a lot of time is what creates panic or um, depression or not doing anything because you're not moving towards um, your fictional characterized um, vision of yourself instead of what you really truly truly want and so that is one reason and a strong reason why I'm interested in doing life coaching because I think that that problem is one of the main problems that women have these days is comparing themselves to the person they have in their mind. Um, I have a friend that um, has gone through a lot of health problems and she wants to be the same size that she was before and look the same, but her health does not allow her to be that way. And see, that can be so um, negatively empowering. And negatively empowering I mean moving you in the wrong direction. That because you're not that person that you used to be, that you're not successful. But the type of person that she is, 
and I've been in her home and how she blesses her family and her children. Um, it's amazing. And if that's the sacrifice that she had to give to become that person, that extraordinary her, then I think it was, it was probably worth it for her. And she's way exceeded probably what she ever imagined she could be if she really thinks about it. So I have a great desire to help women who have this um, block or this wall that they'd like to work through. Thanks for listening.